Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'd like to talk about my recommended setting for the HDR gaming mode on the Q95P and by the way this one that's my LG CX. And before we start please keep in mind all the settings what I'm going to show you are based on my QN95P with my testing and with my calibration. So it is very unlikely that you will have exactly the same outcome but please feel free to try my settings and put in the comment section what you think. So before we're talking about picture settings let's talk about general settings like software updates. So make sure and this is by the way a general rule for all the TVs make sure auto update is not selected okay so make sure it is actually deselected because you don't want to have any bad surprise in terms of auto update or software update or firmware update on any tv the next settings i like to talk about are under general and privacy and we're starting with the intelligent mode settings so make sure everything is turned off this is not just for the gaming mode also for the filmmaker or movie mode make sure everything is turned off because you don't want that the TV is changing any settings on its own. You would like to have fully control over the picture and sound, of course, at any time. The same counts for the power and energy saving options, because if you would, let's say for an example, enable the brightness optimization, the TV will or can change the maximum brightness on your TV on its own, according to the ambient light. And this is the last thing what you like to have. You can find some mandatory settings under connection and then under game mode settings. And this game mode setting is really mandatory if you like to yeah, enjoy the game mode on the Samsung Q95P. So usually the standard is I think off or auto, but I found with auto I had a lot of issues actually especially when I'm connecting a PC because the PC gets recognized as a PC, yes, correct, but in the PC mode, you can't use a frequency rate higher than 60 Hertz, which means it's actually not the best experience. So I would strongly recommend actually to use the game mode with on instead of auto, because I had issues also with the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X that the QN95P actually did not recognize the connected device as a gaming console or a PC. In the game mode settings there are more very important settings or options like the game motion plus settings which is just working with 60 hertz content. Right now my PC is set to 144 hertz output therefore this menu is grayed out but I can do a separate video just around this option if there is some need actually. So let's move on to HDR tone mapping. In the HDR tone mapping option, we have HDR 10 plus gaming and we have game HDR. And I would strongly recommend to enable game HDR to get the best experience when you play HDR games on your QN95B. Game HDR is in accordance with the HDRG standard. At least this is what Samsung is trying to tell us. But believe me, it is not even close to what or how HDRG should actually behave with HDR gaming content. I will do a separate video on how Game HDR is actually behaving on the QN95B compared to the LG CX. And of course, I will do also a video on how to set up PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series HDR system level menu with the QN95B. Let's talk about HDR 10 plus gaming and why I have set this option to off. Neither the PlayStation 5 nor the Xbox Series are supporting HDR10+. According to some people, there are some games on the PC which are supporting HDR10 plus gaming, but so far I couldn't verify this. With the dynamic black equalizer setting, you can improve black detail and clarity, but so far I haven't had any urge to use this setting. This is most likely a case by case decision for some games, but not a general setting. Right now, I would strongly recommend to leave this at zero. Okay, so let's talk about my picture settings. But again, please keep in mind, this is for my QN95B and even you have exactly the same 65 inch screen, maybe it is not exactly the same, okay? But anyway, please do me a favor, try those settings 
and put in the comment section what you think. And now let's start with brightness. And because we're talking about the game HDR picture mode today, brightness needs to be set at 50 to get the maximum peak brightness out of your TV. The standard factory settings in terms of contrast is usually 50 in the game HDR mode. But I found after very thoroughly testing, this is completely wrong because you would clip a lot of fine details. My recommendation is try contrast at 43 and put in the comment section what do you think. Okay, so let's talk about sharpness in the game HDR picture mode and the factory setting is 10 when you reset the picture mode or when you use this picture mode for the very first time. By the way, in the filmmaker mode, the sharpness setting is zero. And now I know exactly what you think. Hey, sharpness 10 can't be right. But let me explain a couple of things here. When you connect a PC to the QN95B and you use the game HDR mode, sharpness needs to be at 10. This is what I found after thoroughly testing. If I would use sharpness at zero, all my details from fine letters or yeah, details in overall are just completely wrong. So 10 is the correct setting when you use a PC with the QN95B. When it comes to sharpness setting for the consoles like PlayStation 5, Xbox Series and Switch, I'm not 100% sure right now if 10 is the correct setting, but also zero can't be right. Right now I'm trying to figure out actually which setting is correct. Again, I'm very, very sure if I'm using a PC, sharpness set to zero is completely wrong. If I'm using a Xbox or PlayStation 5, it appears to me that sharpness set to 10 is already a little bit too much. But yeah, give me some time. I will try to figure out what's the right setting for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series or Switch. Again, for PC, I'm very sure 10 is the correct setting. Next one is color and the factory setting is actually 30, but I found this is way oversaturated. And even with color set to 25, some colors are just too oversaturated compared to my LG CX. But unfortunately, in terms of calibration, the Samsung QN95B is not very user friendly, but I will most likely do a separate video about this issue as well. The next setting is timed, but I haven't touched this at all. Factory or standard setting is zero. Please leave it as it is. Let's talk about local dimming in the gaming mode. And I can assure you local dimming is working, but of course it is a little bit compromised compared to the filmmaker mode or movie mode. So right now I would actually recommend to use local dimming on high, but I did some testing with local dimming set to standard as well, because in some games, in some games, not in all games, in most of the games, high is the right setting, but in some games, standard is actually delivering a better output in terms of the contrast. And I will do a separate video about this topic, but for now, local dimming set to high. The next setting is called contrast enhancer and in the standard factory setting, the setting is actually high, which is in my opinion, completely wrong. I would strongly recommend to turn this feature completely off. The color tone should be set to warm too, which is the closest to the color reference D65. Let's talk about the white balance setting for my TV. And please keep in mind, this is for my TV after my calibration. And this is what I ended up with. Unfortunately, we just have a two point calibration option in the game HDR mode. And this is my result here. Red gain is zero, green gain is minus three, blue gain is minus eight and I haven't touched the offset values at all. So this is the best what I can do with this TV in the yeah, HDR gaming mode so far. Let's talk about my gamma settings, the ST2084. And I have set this to minus two because I found this is the best outcome what I can get on my TV. Shadow detail is right now set to zero, but I'm in the process of doing more testing regarding this setting and it will most likely change over the time. My color space setting is set to auto and according to a couple of people, there is a color space setting bug on the QN90B. I'm not quite sure if this affects also the QN95B because I personally haven't experienced this, but I need to explain this. I haven't tested, of course, 
all the material and I haven't done a proper testing in terms of that. So just make sure you use color space auto and you change actually your custom color gamut to DCI P3. Do not leave it on BT2020 because most of the content is actually mastered in DCI P3. Just very less content is actually really mastered in BT2020. So make sure this is set to DCI P3, switch it back to auto and you should be fine. If I'm going to experience any bug in terms of color space settings, I will update you. Thank you very much for watching me. Please like, share and subscribe and put in the comment section what you think about this video. If you like to see something else, if you like to have more in-deep calibration videos or settings video or whatever, I will of course upload more settings related to the Q95B in terms of filmmaker mode, but I have to do some testing first to make sure everything is actually correct. Again, thank you very much. I see you guys next time. Bye.